Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make bridesmaid and maid of honor invitations or, you know, matron of honor, whatever. And this is a cool idea. It's kind of inspired from Pinterest, kind of inspired just from gathering a bunch of ideas and merging them together. And so I'm showing you things that you'll need. A little piece of wood. This is just a little lip gloss. I showed you a couple ponytails, flour, lotion scrapbooking paper. I painted this box. I didn't include the painting part of the box in the video, but I mean it's pretty self-explanatory. So you're going to take this box and you're going to measure your scrapbooking paper and just cut along the line and we're going to line the top of the box with this scrapbooking paper. Now I'm going to cut it in half because the middle part isn't going to really be seen and so I'm just going to save some paper. Now you're going to measure a strip of burlap and you're going to put that in the middle. So it's okay if you see the gap through the burlap with the missing piece of scrapbooking paper. We're going to cover that later anyway. So just take some Mod Podge. I call it Mod Podge. Sorry, I know it's Mod Podge, but whatever. Just deal with it. <laughs> and lay it down. And then you can take a popsicle stick to smooth it out or use your fingers. I did both. Um, whatever suits your fancy. You could even use like a library card, whatever. And just make sure all the air bubbles are out and then glaze over it with another coat. So I just used a little sponge paintbrush. You can use a little paintbrush if you want. Whatever works for you. It's like no supplies is really wrong. I mean this is your invitation and you can totally customize it to what you want. I will say this though, when you do the box, like when you paint the box, um, dilute your acrylic paint with water. That's what I did and it worked for me. I sanded my box before I did it and I sanded parts of my box afterwards too. I just didn't catch that part on film and I'm really sorry. But um, there's other tutorials on painting wood that you can look up. Anyway, now I'm using a jelly roller and I did paint this little piece of wood with like a copper distilled... Um, distilled. I meant diluted copper paint. Yeah. So it's a little sparkly and I'm just kind of writing in fancy handwriting now. Will you be my dot dot dot. <laughs> this is really fun and it turns out very cute and you can totally get a lot of inspiration ideas from Pinterest. It's basically a box and when you open it up it says will you be my bridesmaid or Will you be my maid of honor? Obviously you saw it from my thumbnail. This one is from my maid of honor, but all my bridesmaids have the same boxes too. I just wanted to give them something cute and meaningful before, you know, um, before the wedding to make them feel extra special because it's just so kind of them to stand by my side during this day. Oh, by the way, I'm engaged. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, now I took a blue piece of cardstock and I already measured it to the width of the inside of the box. And I'm just writing the bottom word first. It's honor, you know, will you be my maid of honor? I just always um, have a habit of writing my first words too big up top. And so I just did the last word first and it really helps me. I don't know, <laughs> do whatever helps you the most, I guess. And after I penciled that in, I am going over it with black acrylic paint. You could go over it with a marker, but I just like the texture of the paint and I wanted everything to seem really, um, I just wanted to emphasize all the textures in the invitation and make it seem very handmade. And so that's why I'm going over it with this. I fixed my question mark and then I went over that with paint too. So after that dries, just swoop on in there and I'm just using hot glue for this because I don't want to mod podge over the paint. and. Um, you can place everything where you want it first, and that's exactly how I wanted mine arranged. Put the flower, use some hot glue. I mean, you could use Mod Podge for this part too, whatever you want. I prefer hot glue. It's just quick and easy to dry, and at this point, I was a little sick of Mod Podge anyway. So, that's why I did that. And once you glue everything in place, that's really about the craftiest part of this entire project. You can pick whatever gifts you want. I went to Bath & Body Works and I got each bridesmaid a lotion. They had a sale like buy three get three free and so it was perfect because I'm having five bridesmaids and I wanted a lotion too. <laughs> and then I got shredded paper to stuff the bottom of the box. I got 
macaroon, macaron lip glosses from Forever 21. And some little la uh, lace, um, ribbony ponytail things. And so you'll see the next part. Um, I'm going to decorate the little ribbony ponytail holder kind of thing like this. I basically just put it on a dark teal piece of cardstock like so. And then I took a jelly roller. And it's the same um, jelly roller brand, Sacra jelly rollers from earlier when I wrote, will you be on the piece of wood? Anyway, now I'm writing my bridesmaids first and middle names because we all, when we were younger, would be like addressing each other by our first and middle names because it was cool. And so Sadie Rebecca is this one and I'm doing it in cursive and I'm, um, I guess drawing the cursive so it all runs off the edges and it looks all lacy. And so that made that look fancy. Now I'm stuffing my box with the paper shreds. You can tweak it how you want and make it look pretty. And then just lay things inside. Make it look presentable and really cute. Stuff that little macaron lip gloss in there. And the ponytails. And that's, that's really all there is to it, guys. And so if you like this invitation idea, you can do it for your bridesmaids. Maybe you have a friend who is getting engaged, or who is engaged, I guess you can't really predict that. Anyway, it's a good idea for them, and so, yeah. Let me know what you think of this video, and if you have any crafting suggestions, let me know. I would like to try to bring you one or two videos a week now. You can check out my art channel in the link below. It's That Artsy Girl, and now I'm doing a craft channel, so I'm really glad to have you here, and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, well... See you guys next week or in a couple days. Have a good one.